Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today... Oh, man. Today, I, w- I want to bring you a relevant topic for this time, um, because those of you who have been followers of, of the Speak Your Success podcast for some time, uh, you know, typically I focus the message on serving and supporting young professionals and providing tangible self-help strategies to help the individual who's an aspiring entrepreneur, to help the individual who is a young professional navigating their way just through the corporate climb, if you will. Um, but now, just... You know, with everything that's been happening with the pandemic today, I want to take a moment and I want to focus on how to show empathy. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk about how to show empathy, because I think now's the time in society and now's the time that if we're not careful, we can step on somebody's toes. But even worse than that, we can offend people in a really, really negative way. So. Uh, I, I wanted to bring this topic to the surface because uh, I, I was on a call the other night and it's called the Catalyst School Live. Shout out to Coach Dr. Brett McCabe. And uh, he, he brought on Coach Murphy from the University of Alabama, University of Alabama softball team. And this dude is, man, he's he's like next level uh, when it comes to winning, when it comes to tradition, when it comes to just doing things at a very high level. And And I reached out to him and I said, Coach, I said, you know, I work with student athletes and I said, what is something that you feel student athletes are missing the mark on? I said, what's an area where you feel uh, that that's not as talked about? And he said, John, well, one of the areas plain and simply could be just to show show empathy. So I said, OK, well, if that's that's what you say, coach, then, then that's what we're going to roll with. So today I, I want to talk about showing empathy and, and empathizing because now. College students have lost their season or their season has been postponed or canceled. Um, Young professionals are working from the crib. And for them, some may have their jobs, some may not. And I wanted to cover this topic because I feel like a lot of us are going to be having conversations in the next couple of weeks, couple of months, whatever, the next couple of the next year, at least. Um, And I don't want us to offend people. Right. Because that's the worst thing um, to do. When somebody is already upset or somebody's already angry. So let, let's let's go ahead and just get into the content today. And I'm gonna give you just four steps on just how how to show empathy. The first step, the first step is just to listen. Hmm. Yeah, just like just listen. Because it's 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 really tough when somebody is sharing their feelings, somebody's sharing are opening up to you and they haven't opened up to anybody else about this particular topic, but you're cutting them off in between and you're like, wait, no, this didn't happen. That didn't happen. It's like, nah, bro, just shut up and just listen, listen and hear them out. And and I know this, this is an area that, 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 that I can grow in from time to time, depending on who we're talking about. Um, because I'm grateful that, that, that I've been married for almost a year now. It was like eight eight months, almost knocking on a year, man. We're getting there. But there are times that that I'm not the best at empathizing. So sometimes I have to tell myself, John, you need to shut up. You need to listen, boy. So first things first, we have to learn. We have to learn to just listen and just be present with the person. Just listen. Okay. A- after we listen, then, then we want to connect. We want to connect with what they're saying. We want to connect with what they're sharing. We want to make sure that we're present and not distracted. Right. Imagine somebody sharing something near and dear to their heart. Imagine somebody sharing something that that's painful. Imagine somebody sharing something to where they didn't even want to talk about it in the first place. And then your phone goes off and you checking notifications and you tweeting people back and responding back to mentions on Instagram like nah that would be the fastest way to lose a relationship as one of those tough areas where, you know, we're, we're, we're plagued with so many distractions that we've created for ourselves. 
if it be notifications, if it be us wanting to go get something to eat in the middle of somebody talking, like, bruh, if you're on a Zoom meeting, turn your camera off first before you get up and start running around the house. People, so we have to connect. Okay, we listen and then we connect. And, and and one way I like to consider connecting with the feelings, like if somebody's talking about somebody that just died in their family or somebody's talking about them just losing a job, as you're listening to them and like giving them the head nod and saying, mm, mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I hear you, I'm listening. You should not be smiling when they say that, right? Because that's not connecting with their feelings. That's doing the polar opposite. So let, let's let's make sure that our response is ultimately matching what they're sharing, right? So that that's the that's the second part, that the connect piece. And then thirdly, man, we, we have to acknowledge. We we have to acknowledge what, what they're going through. We don't try to debate what they're feeling. We don't challenge their feelings. <laughs> We just want to acknowledge the pain. Yeah, we just want to acknowledge the pain. Saying, wow, that could. Like that, like that sounds like that's really painful for you. That that sounds like that's a really difficult situation that you're having to deal with. You just lost your season. Wow, you just lost your job. I can't. Man, I don't even know what I'd do if I was in your situation. That's man, I, I, I hate to hear that. Like, that's tough. We want to acknowledge what they're going through because we're in a time to where this is cancel culture. And if anybody is on Twitter, you've seen how fast people will try to cancel individuals just up and down the timeline. We've seen stuff about, I'm not even going to drop name drop, but we've seen a lot of people attempted to be canceled here lately in the past couple of months, but people are getting canceled because they feel that, their emotions aren't being acknowledged. They feel that their pain isn't being acknowledged. They feel that their experience and their journey is not being acknowledged. So we want to listen. We want to connect. We want to acknowledge. And then lastly, my friends, the last thing is we want to support. Ask that individual after they share. First, you want to thank them for sharing. You want to say, wow, thank you for for trusting me with that information. Thank you for sharing that with me. And then ask them, how can I support you in this? Is is there anything I can do for you? Right? But don't ask unless you're unless you're serious about doing what they what they will require of you or what they will request of you. But friends, it, it it's support. And don't be afraid to necessarily ask that question because for some people support could look like you just being there with them, just sitting there with them in it, just being present in that moment. For some of them, it could be, hey, can you just check on me every couple of weeks, every couple of days? Just give me a call. Just shoot me a text. Like, just see how I'm doing. Just just swing by. Support looks different for different people and different individuals. But ultimately, my friends, I just want to share that with you all today because I feel like it's really going to help a lot of people. Um, I, I feel like this is this is going to be something to where ultimately if you feel that it's beneficial or you know somebody who struggles with empathizing or you know somebody who struggles with just empathy as a whole, I would encourage you just to share this episode with them. Share this episode and then down the show notes, I'm going to have uh, I'm, I'm going to have like a, a, a real or like a not PowerPoint, but it's going to be a post from my Instagram feed where it's going to detail these steps out just so people have access to it and they can just get quick and get right, right to it and get right after it. So friends, um, as always, you all know that we appreciate you always listening. If you feel that this podcast has added value to you, I would greatly appreciate it. If you just took the time to leave a helpful Apple review, just go in the purple icon, type in speak your success and then scroll down to the bottom after you subscribe and then click that button where it says write a review and leave us your thoughts, leave us your feedback. And you all know you can get at me on Instagram, on Twitter. Uh, just type in Jonathan J speaks and then I'll pop up on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, etc. All that good stuff. LinkedIn. Um, but 
most importantly through this time, I want to share this episode because I feel that this is content that's applicable. This is content that's necessary. And this is content that will serve and support people at a high level at this time. But all right, friends, until next time, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you and why should you live any other way? <laughs>